grab your mirror, flip it upward, use a T20 Torx bit. Remove that screw, grab your mirror, slide up and out of the way. Our new mirror has a different size mounting base than the original one here. So we have to go ahead and remove this from the windshield. In order to do so, we're gonna use a small propane torch and we're gonna apply some heat to this unit here. Gonna warm that up. And periodically, we're gonna go ahead. We do have a little bit of movement out of it, so we're gonna apply a little bit more heat. There we go. Now I'm just using a small pick here to grab the adhesive off the windshield. Just being careful, working that a little bit. Now our particular vehicle has a shaded spot for our metal mounting base, such as this here, to go ahead and attach to. Now if your vehicle does not have that, what I would recommend doing is taking a crayon of some sort, going to the outside of the windshield before you remove your mirror, trace the outside of the windshield where the unit is that way there when you pull off your mirror you'll know exactly where to put your metal, your metal base to and go ahead and use your cleaner here a little cleaner pad I'm gonna go ahead and open up the adhesive. Make sure you take the mirror base and confirm what side is going to stick to the glass. In our case here, it won't lock on that way there. It will lock on this way and then it'll stick that to the glass. So the smaller section is where we're gonna put the adhesive. And make sure that you clean the back of this as well. On the back side, we want to use a small amount of the adhesive. Go ahead and line that up. Now once you've let your base set for about 30 minutes to cure up, go ahead and set your mirror up on there. Tighten up your Phillips head set screw and you can go ahead and adjust your mirror to its final position.